we are such a family-based community, and many of us, as we get older and we live here a long time, uh, we have uh, also our parents who are either close by or we have them closer to us so that we can kind of uh, keep an eye on them as they get past retirement age and to the point where in some cases they just need a little bit of looking after or they might need a little bit more of an intense or in-depth kind of uh, care in their home. I uh, hear from Home Care Services once again to talk about uh, a certain aspect of what they provide as far as services for the elderly. Rick Ferrante, good morning. Good morning. How are you? And this is uh, this is pretty interesting because we, we do have, uh, especially as um, the medicine, the science comes along with uh, detecting Alzheimer's and uh, being able to determine uh, its its causes and in some cases not cure but treatment and, and how we, we set that up. It's becoming more prominent to have in-home care as much as possible for, for the treatment of Alzheimer's as well, right? Yeah, so here we are, we're living longer, right? It's good news, good news situation. So we're living longer, people are in their homes still, but and so they're physically doing a lot better uh, with medicine, with uh, everything, all the improvements in healthcare. So what's happening then is, is as people live longer and, and, and in their homes, their Alzheimer's is becoming more of an issue. It's, it was always there, but people didn't live that long to be, uh, for it to be a problem. So now they are, which is great news. But now we've got this issue that, we've, that we are seeing that is affecting entire families and not just the person who needs the care. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's so a couple of things, obviously, that what we do is, is to be able to provide some respite for that. So, you know, maybe somebody, you know, what it needs, still needs to be working or still has their family, their own family life to deal with, but they have a parent, aunt, uncle, whoever it is, that is being affected by Alzheimer's and, or other forms of dementia and need some respite, need some help at home while they're working or while they're doing certain time, you know, errands and things during the day. So that's kind of where we come in in one of the areas. And then the other one is just even just information. I mean, who goes and studies this stuff about Alzheimer's and what the effects are and what you can do? Just call us. I mean, there, there's a lot we can help even if we're not, you know, providing service. You know? Exactly. And that's true because we, we don't really think, it's one of those things you don't think about until all of a sudden you're affected by it. Suddenly you joined a club you didn't know existed and that's uh, mm -hmm. caring for uh, a parent or a, an elderly, elderly family member or anybody else who, who is uh, stricken with this or diagnosed with it. And we're, you're right because the other thing too, aside from just giving respite is... You know, when we run into these things, it's not very easy to deal with someone who suddenly their cognitive skills and everything else have changed. Mm -hmm. and, and even just in, in the case of home care services, helping to relieve the, the level of stress and anxiety that, that can come from trying to care for someone in that position, right? Yeah, if you think about anything you do, and if you don't know anything about it, it doesn't matter how hard or easy it is, it becomes this huge thing, right? So, but if you take something, you just get a little bit of information, a little bit of uh, skills or, you know, something that you can kind of grab onto, okay, we can handle this, we can get through this, we can make it something that's, you know, not this horrible negative thing and bring along a, a, a situation from, you know, really tearing a family apart to, okay, this is just another challenge. We're going to get a little bit of help, like informationally, just some, you know, assistance. Again, whether it's bringing on service or not, just let's get some help. We, we work with the Alzheimer's Association. We have all the information that we deal with and a lot of experience on, on helping people. So, you know, give us a call. We can kind of help get you through it. Um, the other thing I wanted to kind of bring up, as I uh, was telling you earlier, is uh, because we are working with the Alzheimer's Association and dealing with this all the time and talking to people, it becomes something that's kind of, you know, close to the heart for us and our staff and so on. So we're teaming up with the Alzheimer's Association and working on and um, on the committee for the Walk to End Alzheimer's, which is in September, September 20th at Bridgeport Park. So we're looking for teams for, uh, and, and I know a lot of folks out there have did it last year and the year before, and we're doing it again, and uh, we need to bring on more people. We need to bring on more, um, you know, uh, understanding of the disease, as well as fundraising for research and curing. So uh, September 20th is when the walk is, um, but right now we're looking to bring on teams, so give us a call, shoot us an email, uh, let us know, and we can help formulate that team, give you some tips and advice on how to get going, and get. And it's a lot of fun. And all that information is found on your website, homecaresantaclarita.com. And aside from uh, Alzheimer's uh, um, uh, 
uh, patience, I guess is, uh, I'm trying to think of the word for that. Uh, all kinds of services that you provide for seniors, in-home caregiver, in-home living products, uh, audiology, dietitian services, home modifications, geriatric therapy, financial services. So uh, you're kind of a, I, to, I don't want to say one-stop shop because that kind of yeah. demeans what actually the experience is, but in any any questions you have about about uh, your elderly family member that who needs some sort of assistance, give you guys a call or check out the website, homecaresantaclarita.com, the phone number 800-808-4777. I don't know what I did with your car. There it is. And uh, you also have a local number, direct 661-412-0707. And uh, is it R. Ferrante at right. hometown or oh, homecare? SantaClarita.com. So That's it. So any way you can get to there, uh, it's a good opportunity. So what can, if somebody wants to uh, put a team together or participate, do they just give you a call or is there information on the website? Or? Um, yeah, the easiest is just give us a call because okay. then we'll uh, we'll send them all the you know the packet and all the explanation. We're going to get together with the team members. We're going to uh, uh, put a couple of meetings together, help them try to recruit people and, and do all that stuff. And, you know, that's it, it's a lot of fun. It's doing stuff for a good cause, and like I said, it's just a good time. So, give me a call, uh, send an email, my, myself or my staff, and we'll help put that together. And let's end this uh, disease. In the meantime, if you need any information or help regarding it, or someone you know, give us a call or send us an email and let us know. We'll help you out. Sounds perfect, Rick Ferrante, okay. Home Care Services, Santa Clarita. Thanks so much for stopping by, and good luck with uh, your continued success in in. Uh, what you provide for uh, people in Santa Clarita and also on the event coming up. Thanks All right. a lot. Thanks for having me.